Hi everyone, welcome back to CBC Colouring Book Club. I hope you're all having fun with February 2021. And thank you everyone for being there. Hi Dee, hi Rain, Shelly, Eva, Pam, Michelle, Patches, Kimmy, Pam, Abby, Yvette. Thank you everyone for being here. Well, I'm representing Matt Davidson's Dragon Fairy. I don't know what he's calling it, but that's what I'm calling it. And I am so happy to be calling a dragon. So for the start, for the background, I used Holcroft Ink, India Ink, and I also use FW Ink which is an alcohol ink, but it doesn't bleed. It doesn't go through. It's quite a good ink. And I also used a little of Matisse Blue, which is like a, a drawing ink, um, a writing ink, but it's a beautiful blue. So I used that one. I used, for the FW ink, I used Purple Lake and Process Cyan. And for the whole croft, I use Princely Purple, which is a very dark purple, and you can't even tell this is blue. You can't even tell there's purple in it. And also I used Ultramarine Blue. So they were the colours that I used for the background. And I'll stick that back in there. Get that out of the way. Now for this type of background, you need to use a bristly bristly brush if you use one with soft it'll make streaks it'll just streak so with this one i just put the ink down or into a palette and then just dab it on don't wipe it because it'll be streaky and then just a fine brush to get in close to the edges so that's what i use for the background and then i just used a posca and some chinese doing doing um chinese white drawing pencil for some of the background for the dragonflies and a few of the stars so that's what i used hi diane joanna oh this is the new one for you hi mitch shelly Evelyn and everyone else, Christine, thank you for everyone. No echo, I hope not. Really, what the heck? <laughs> what a brilliant idea to pin the link for the image. It is a good idea that they've supplied that. I just wish with the three dots they bring back so you could go to other people's channels. Hi, Amy. Hi, Benita. Welcome on board. Hi, Della. Welcome on board. Thank you for being here, guys. Sorry if I miss anyone in chat, so thank you, everyone, for being here. Anyway, this is Matt Davidson's image. Thank you, Jennifer, for streaming before. I was lurking and just watching, getting a couple of things done. <clears throat> okay, to start off with, I've picked out a couple of pencils. I should have sharpened them, actually. What's new? Get a bit of a point happening on there. Now I've got Prismas and one Poly at the moment, but I could end up using uh, teasers or God knows what else. Hey, B. I had two applications open. They were competing with each other. Oh, <laughs> what kind of ink for the background? Holcroft ink. I should have left them out. Well, I knew that would happen. I used Holcroft India ink and I used FW ink. These are the FW ink bottles and the Holcroft. And a little bit of writing ink, which is Matisse Blue. But um, if you watch the start, I, I went through the colours. Hi, Pamela. Can I list for today? Please do that for you. Hang on a sec. 
got it right here. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Blahona. Is that how I hope I pronounced that properly? Welcome on board. Sherry, welcome back, everyone. Thank you for being here. Okay. So I thought I would do her wings a nice yellow and green. I can zoom in a little bit. Just yell at me if I go off screen. I have a tendency to do that. Now, this one is um, neon yellow 1035 in the Prisma. Now, I'm just going to lightly go over, but just random. Just scribble in different places. I'm not doing the whole lot. Just here and there. It's a nice bright yellow to start off with. And I hope everyone's enjoying the colour of thon so far. Now this is different paper to what I used for um, Cheryl Lafon's picture. And I can't remember what this paper's called. I'd have to go and get the pad for you to have a look if you'd like. It should take me two seconds to go and get it. So I'm just scribbling. Nice bright colours. So I thought I'd to do her wings in nice bright green yellowy colours. And I'll do the dragon in nice green colours. But I'm um, darker with yellowy orange eyes. And we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it turns out. Just all over her wings. And she's got some nice patterns in here too. Now this wing is further back, so I will make it darker, but just for starters, I'll go over with some bright yellow. And then I'll add some shading. Sorry if I miss a bit of chat, guys. You've got tea. Got me Tim Tams. <laughs> Hint raspberry water. This background looks like a magazine. <laughs> Thanks, Abby. She has a really nice awesome nose. She's a sexy fairy. Yes, you're right, B, you busy girl. No Tim Tams. 
All right, now I'm going to use some True Green, which is 910. Just in between the yellow, but I'm still leaving gaps, still leaving areas to put more colour. So in between the yellow, over the top of some of the yellow, and still leaving room for some more colour in there. Belinda streams after me. And... Who are you streaming first, Belinda? Are you doing um, Yana first or are you going to do um, Grazia first? Awesome. I haven't even printed, <laughs> I haven't even printed my image yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you might want to do that. Yeah, she's got one hour and 50 minutes. So just gradually filling the wings in with different colours, different yellows, different greens. I've got one pencil there in the watercolour. It's a beautiful coloured green. And I did think about doing this in watercolour. There's just a couple of places here. I'll put a bit more yellow as I fill it in. You can see where you need to um, add more. And there's a couple of little holes there I'll leave. Do them slightly different. This is an intricate pattern in here. Bit of detail in the back of her wing or towards the end of her wing. I'm on screen. <laughs> I hear a message and it's like, I'm on screen. Background is beautiful. Hello, Mona. Thank you. Hi, Lulu. Janine. Welcome on board, guys. Leslie. Love your background. Thank you very much, Leslie. Thanks, guys. I have to admit, it took me a while to decide. I thought, what am I going to do with this background? What, can, what will I do? And I played around, experimented on a spare piece of paper. And I actually had some fun, actually. Um, now, it's getting off track a little bit. Back in one sec, guys. Now the paper I am using for this is the paper mill. It's ivory, it's off-white, it's beautiful smooth paper. Um, I got this from Riot Art and Craft in Australia. There's 50 sheets and it's ultra smooth mixed media paper and it's 216 GSM. It will go with pencil, pen and light wash. Um, it'll take a little bit of water, but not a whole lot. 
But what I like to do, or what I was doing, is give that a spritz. Now I should have shaped, given this a shake. Hi, True. Evelyn, I kind of stopped saying hi because we are all basically stream hopping today. Not so, probably didn't work as good on this paper. There we go. And I didn't shake the ink very much either. And it depends what kind of ink you use. But um, depending on what paper you use, it really does spread out. Um, this is probably not ideal, this paper. It wasn't the paper. And the colours when they mix together are really pretty. Now, depending on what paper you use, it really just flares out and it looks awesome of course it's like watercolor you haven't got much control over it but um you can get some really pretty backgrounds doing this sort of thing and now that's sopping wet <laughs> i'll put it on the table until it dries i'll get rid of that but you can get some beautiful colors out of that just depends on what kind of paper you use to what effect you um, get. Now I did do it on on this ivory paper, and um and it was just going everywhere, and it looked awesome. But like I said, <laughs> haven't got much. There's no control over where it goes, and then of course once you start moving it around, it just runs. So um, you can have a lot of fun. Hi Tammy, I'm sad. I'll have to play back. I want to. Know how this background happened. <laughs> it's just this is what I was just talking about. Um, just with a, a bristle brush and in and ink. But um, yes, you can watch it back and have a look. I know, B. I had to tell you and tell me how much I adore you too. <laughs> Looks awesome, but mine will go through. I hope don't. So how did you stop it running on image? Well, for this one, I didn't use, I was experimenting to see what I'd do with this background, but I didn't want it to go over onto the image itself. So I opted out of the water and I just used, get water on that now, just sprays. I didn't use water, I just used straight up ink and the bristle brush. So I put some ink in the palette, in the paint palette, and then just, of course, picked it up with the brush and just dabbed all over. So it took a, it took quite a while. And one reason I did it off stream is in case it was a major epic fail. And the other reason was because it takes quite a while. But if I do another image, well, not if, but when I do another image, I'll do it on stream um, so you can see what I do. But don't use soft bristled brushes because if you wipe the ink on, it will just be streaky. And I also, I use the Process Cyan from the FW ink all over the whole background. So that was the base layer and then went over the top again um, dabbing the brush. But I do, I love this sort of background. I love this sort of um, effect. So I'll definitely be doing it again. It's just a bit time consuming. Um, some people like, don't mind watching um, tedious things like that on stream. They're happy to watch. Others get bored with it. And can't be bothered watching at all. So, uh, but I will do it. 
And whether you watch or not, it's up to you. You can watch some of it and get the basic idea of it. Or you can watch the whole process. And being ink, it dries pretty quick. So I'm just using the true green. Just random. Oh, just hope Wesley doesn't get blue paws play. Yeah, well, that's what this is. <laughs> <laughs> and that's another reason I did it off stream. Yes, he um, did get up on my on my knee and jumped up on the table, and just happens that he <laughs> walked on the, walked on the ink, and then of course got it on here. Um, so that, that's that was fun and games. Now this one is lemon yellow, which is a bit darker because this wing wing is further back. So um, I'll go in and put some darker colour in there compared to the front wing. Yeah, that was fun. And that was another reason he come and parked his butt on top. And I just sat back and put all that, that's that done. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's fun having kittens. He's very quiet. He's over under the table on the dining room chair on the cushion. And um, he's been there for ages. He must be that comfortable. I went in and while Jennifer was streaming and made a coffee, and um, he didn't even follow me into the kitchen. So he must be very comfortable over there. And it's also 20 past nine in the morning here, and he hasn't even gone in and had something to eat. And if I was sleeping, he would be hassling the hell out of me. It's like, get up and feed me, Mum. <laughs> Depending on what time I go to bed, he could wake me up at quarter past six in the morning. If I go to bed a bit late at night, he'll sleep in a little bit, but no, he'll hassle me and he won't give up. So I get up and feed him. He goes to the loo. I go to the loo get back to bed, and then after that he's had a feed, he comes back in and then he wants to, not that I like doing it, getting under the blankets, but um, oh, he just doesn't let up. He's very stubborn. So am I, but in the end I just let him, I've got a blanket on top of my doona and I just let him get under there with my arm there and he curls up around my arm, near my arm. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, there was a mark there on the chat. I wonder what it was. Um, has all streams on it for Colorathon. Thank you, Bay. When the fluid is dry, when the fluid is dry, it will peel off. You can use a masking fluid that will stop it going into the image. Yeah. You're awesome. You still got Karawong still. <laughs> I started my day with Heather, so it started out really good. Oh, Evelyn. <laughs> Just hope Wesley doesn't get blue paws. Play, yeah. Would love to see you do this background on stream another time. I will. I'll do it. The playlist is a wonderful idea. So glad Belinda thought of it. Yep. Are you top chat? I'm not. I'm on live chat. Back to the true green. So neon yellow, true green, and lemon yellow so far. Now the black ground, black ground, background is blue. So I could put a little bit. Uh, I might use this one, I think. It's a bluey green. Um, it's actually light green. 181 in the poly, um, in the Pablo. 
and I can put some more in between. But yes, I am. Um, I hummed and hard. What am I going to do with the background? Played around. That's why I did showed you the spritzing because I did some of that. And on the paper that I used, this paper that I experimented on, oh, it, it just splayed out, looked cool. Um, and I like the colours, but I just didn't want it to get on the image and I didn't want to muck it up. So I opted out of the water and just used straight up ink. And that's how come it didn't run everywhere. And I'll try to colour fast and get this done for you guys as well. And for our giveaway, Dawn and Matt, our dynamic duo, husband and wife. Hang on, I'll just bring it up. Um, Dawn and Matt, or well, I'm representing Matt, they are doing a $20 gift certificate to our shop as a prize so that is awesome for the giveaway absolutely awesome very nice very generous awesome prize twenty dollars to go to town on whatever you like in this in their etsy store absolutely awesome yeah, so this one is the back wing, just slightly going over now with the lemon yellow. So it's a little bit darker. I'll show you that bit there too. So I thought the yellowy green there against the blue background would look pretty. And now I'm just lightly going over with the true green and also the light green 181 with the Pablo and I'm just skimming over the whole lot so it goes over the yellow and it's actually bringing out the yellow more it's making it pop but just very lightly And the skin on this one compared to the other paper that I used for Cheryl's picture, you can do a lot of layer. This paper's smooth compared to this paper. <coughs> both, both take a lot of layers, but um, you just work a bit differently with your pencil when you're going over. Both take a lot of layers. So just gently going over, put a bit more yellow up the top in here. And I can put a bit of pressure, put a bit of pressure on with this neon yellow. And then when you go over slightly over the top, the, the light green going over the top of yellow gives a beautiful colour green. Really pretty colour. So I'm just skimming over the top. And I can use the neon yellow on these areas and go extra bit of pressure. So they stand out a little bit more. And then use the light green with the Pablo. And that green is just so pretty 
on top of that yellow. And then as I come out, lightening off a little bit. Sorry if I'm missing the chat, guys. Hi, Barbara. Thank you. Laugh out loud, Shelly, slow down, girl. <laughs> What's she doing? <laughs> Bit like the gold fiber take a lot of layers yeah I like the gold fiber too um, I've got gold fiber watercolor and I love them sorry that's two-thirds I'm already one-third of the way through the colorathon snacks <laughs> what the heck am I gonna do tomorrow <laughs> have you got hubby or someone to go and go out and get you some more <laughs> <laughs> Just too much of a perfectionist. Um, it says like the 18th of February for each, but we still add our pictures to the event after that. Yes, you can. Mitch Facebook is horrible now with trying to create events. Supras are nice. Yeah, I haven't got supras. Now, there's just a bit in there. I'm doing it the other way around. I put the blue and then the yellow. So a bit of pressure, and then as I come out, just lightening off a bit. And I'll go in between here a little bit. A couple of creases on her wings. like a bit more yellow neon yellow I'd like a bit more yellow in here like a very light aqua it's a beautiful color but on top of that yellow oh, so pretty so I use the light green and then if I feel that it needs a bit more I just grab the neon yellow and put that on top <coughs> it's not really showing up too much on screen at the moment but um the greens really pop through in front of me yeah, and just skim over the surface any white area now oh, I've used the true green Pablo Yellow green two three O oh. yeah, a bit of difference in some areas. Lemon yellow. I'd like to um not have that so it's a bit like lime, a lime kind of green. So just bring that back a bit with a bit of lemon yellow.
and the wings aren't finished there's a bit to go but that's just the boat but it's um <laughs> it looks funny on screen it's quite bright actually <coughs> i might do his eyes i think now i've got the deco yellow which is 1011. Get that out of the way. Now, let me see. Hmm, what colour will I use? Lots of choices. <laughs> it's printed. <laughs> Loving yellow wings. I wish the true colour would come up because the green in there off screen looks better. Are you using multiple pencils? I am. Hello, Janine, if I didn't say hello before. Heather, can you move to the left a little bit? <laughs> Sorry. As I starting to drift off. All right. <clears throat> this one is mineral orange, which is 1033. Now I'm just going to do some fine veins in his eyes. And they're very fine, so you hardly see them. Now, I do need a bright yellow, so we will go back to the neon. Yep, neon yellow. the mineral orange where is that what did I do with that one not the color I was after um, spring green which is 913 yeah, need to be sharp if you're going to do small detail in eyes like this. Just around the top under his eyelid. Lemon yellow. Just blend, just blend that yellow into that orange a little bit. You can always go back over the top. Now I need... One thing I do use is 
is like an, an art line, 0 0.2, um, something very fine in the black. And just line on his eyelid. Give him a bit of shadow. That gives his eye a little bit of dimension so it's not just flat on his face. <laughs> Just around the outside of his eye, eyeball. So he looks like he's got a bit of mascara on. <laughs> and it's all, once again, it's all about layering between these fine little lines. And get a white Posca. Hi, Melanie. Which is Melanie Hawkins, not Melanie Go. <laughs> I'm working, so we'll miss chat. Oh, Lou, that's all right. Don't get caught. Love the background. Thank you. Hello, oh, I'm working right now, so this is muted, but watching is better than nothing. <laughs> Don't get caught, guys, anyone that is working. Love that colour. Um, are the gold favour watercolour or wax? I have the watercolour, Mitch. Um, those wings are very pretty, Heather. Oh, thank you, Shelley. They've got a long way to go. That's just the basics of it at, at the moment. Are we finished? No, no, not by a long shot. Just a little bit of white on his eyes at the moment. Wait for that. Should wait for that to dry. I know that. <clears throat> wait for that to dry. Now, um, I'll do a little bit of her skin. Nectar. Peach. Oh, that's not the one I want. Where is it? Oh, it might be in here, actually. There it is. One light, light peach, which gets used a lot. And I think that's the same. I think, I think, I think they're the four basic things we use for skin. Oh, my coffee. Tabby, you can use any fairies in the miscellaneous folder in the event, unless it comes from the fairy gathering event in colour, what you like. <laughs> You're boycotting that hot mess. <laughs> Oh, no, it's just started snowing where you are. I made a mistake and coloured on the rough, not shiny side of paper. Depends what you're using too. I was going to ask one side 
it doesn't matter what paper it is, but for me personally, I find one side is always different to the other side. doesn't matter whether it's smooth paper or there's always a slight difference. And it also depends on your um, your tactile awareness too. And tactile, if you don't know what that is, like the sensitivity in your fingers, the feeling. Um, I'm qualified to massage horses and that's the one thing um, you get very conscious of is your, your tactile awareness of feeling heat cold, um, smoothness, roughness, um, you know, textured, yeah, textured paper, you can feel um, the difference. Even between the ink, like if you use an acrylic paint, um, it's quite, you can feel it's quite rough and bumpy. The ink has a bit of that feel, acrylic paint, but nowhere near as rough. That is, that ink is quite smooth. Um, to feel. Now I'm going to start off with light peach which is 927 in the Prisma. I'll start on her skin. <laughs> Watching CB do the skin that's like <laughs> she got more than I did. Got more done than I did. But once again just circular motion so it's nice and even. Someone's just woken up, so I wonder if we'll get a visit. You'll soon know if he climbs up my leg. <laughs> Sticks those barbs in. <laughs> they're not they're, they're not claws, they're not needles, they're barbs. <laughs> Right, because I'm working on a fairy from Christine's Fairy and Fantasy, so I was kind of wondering that too. Wait, you massage horses? I am qualified, Sherry, to massage horses. I don't anymore, um, but I am fully qualified, yes. I'm an equine myofunctional th therapist by qualification. Um, we hit the number higher for four months in a row in summer. We haven't even really had a summer here in Australia. No snow yet here, but I'm sure we'll get a little bit. I got a chatty Maine Coon who has grown, coming on six, still acts like a big baby. No. Oh. Didn't know that was a thing. Absolutely. Yeah, we haven't we haven't really had much heat here in Australia. We've had just a few hot days. And to be honest, it's been really good um, because last year with the fires was just devastating. That was just horrific. So it's nice that this summer hasn't really been a summer. And I've got the fire going at the moment. Um it's only supposed to be like 17 degrees Celsius here today. And it's been raining this morning. So light peach. She's a sexy fairy. <laughs> I bet this dragon would protect her, especially if it's a male dragon. Um, if you know, like, male dogs can be quite protective over the female in the house. Protect their girls. So you won't really see much on the first layer. I'm on screen, yes, making sure. <laughs> Just circular motions all the way.
Uh, hello. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Hello, little man. You come to say hello. Come on. Sit your butt right on top of our on colouring. <laughs> yes, Janine, you're in WA, so is Omi. Yeah, you've had some horrible fires over there. Oh, wait, at a woman's retreat tomorrow by a beach. Oh, it sounds nice. <laughs> Yay, <Yeah>, kitty. <laughs> I don't know about that. See what I mean? <laughs> so I haven't posted many pictures coloured this month because I keep getting distracted. I'll tell you what he does. He doesn't mind, though. I'll get the fidget spinner out. <laughs> Keeps him occupied. <laughs> yeah, I can't see a thing now. <laughs> oh dear. Can I bring this forward a bit? Don't bite the paper. Leave it. <laughs> if I put him down. He'll just climb up my leg again. I'm just doing the top of her breast. Um, <laughs> I'm going to stick my head under the camera just to get on here. That's a good boy. You just sit there. He's awesome. He's a little legend. <laughs> he is a little rascal, yes. And hello, Benita. Thank you for being here. Good boy. <laughs> no, not to speak too soon. A little bit of a neck there. Hello, little man. Hello. And his name's Wesley. And he's been very well behaved. Now, because this is not a big portrait, it's just small, it'd be a lot easier. So I'll just do a whole face, a couple of light layers of light peach. <laughs> Hi, 7A. <coughs> John says Wesley, Wesley is huge. He's grown. He's doubled in size at least. Um, I don't know, 15 weeks old now. Someone else in chat had a kitten that was 14 weeks and he was just a week or so behind. Oh, you're a cat mummy yourself, Benita. Oh. <laughs> little man is a really, yeah, I call him little man. <laughs> Although he's been, you know, <clears throat> lost his jewels, of course. We should have a kitty a -thon stream event <laughs> where you sit there and do nothing, Michelle. <laughs> Hence. My cats know when I get the camera out. Yes, I currently have the 40 kilo Labrador on my lap because he's scared of the baby rat. Oh, my God, Tammy. That's one big lap dog, yes. This is when the short pencils are a blessing. If they were long, we could be chasing them. Yes, I was trying to do, I think it was the background of something I was doing. And, um, yes, he was. He was trying to have a go at the end of it. Now he's on my lap. 
What are you doing? Are you going to jump down? Now, while he's gone, he's on my lap. Um, this is just Peach. Oh, he's awesome. So I got him on the 6th of January. And I don't go into town very often, maybe once a fortnight or so, do shopping. And I got my car serviced on Wednesday. So the few times I've been out and I come home, you can obviously hear the car come home. And I think he runs and hides behind the couch because he's not sure. And then when I come inside, he peers out from behind the couch and then he says that it's me and recognises me and it's like, oh, Mummy's home! And he comes running. <laughs> it's so adorable. <coughs> My newest rescue kitty is almost five months old. Oh, good on you, Della, for doing that. Hey, don't leave out the dogs. <laughs> <coughs> well, for those that um, are regular streamers, um, they'll be missing Bess, which was my female Rottweiler. She was eight and a half, would have been nine in April. And um, I had to get her laid to rest on the 30th of December. So I donated her food and bedding to the animal shelter and I went on there to get their email, their phone number to contact them. And I thought, I know I shouldn't do this. And I scrolled down a bit and he was the first one on there. And it was just love at first sight. There was just something about him. Absolutely. I don't know. There was just something about him. And um, I had my heart set on him. So from losing my dog, you know, he, he gave me something to think about and to concentrate on and they do appointment only so I had that was on the that was on the Wednesday I had laid her to rest and the Thursday I took the stuff in and I said well while I'm here I'd like to ask about you know inquire about Wesley well we do appointments only and I said please don't let him go and she said no promises they can't put them on hold so I'm um, first in first serve sort of thing and I couldn't get in my appointments, my appointment was for the following Tuesday and um, and I was checking all the time and they're not open on the weekend so it was pretty safe there and on the Monday I opened the website and had a look and he was still there and it's like it's all good and I don't know every hour or so I was refreshing and he was on hold and I just, I broke down, started bawling my eyes out, it's like no, I was so upset. And I emailed them and said, he's on hold and I've got an appointment to see him tomorrow. And um, they didn't get back to me. And then on the Tuesday, I was pretty glump, but I'm trying to, you know, keep up positive thoughts. And I went in there and I said, I was really after Wesley, but he's on hold. And the guy looked at the ladies, you know, behind the reception desk and they said, no, he's still available. And I just lit up and I was just so happy that he was still available and um anyway and they said oh we've got you know we've got quite a few kittens there available for adoption and I said oh have you anyway I was after him I was dead set on him right from the start so um we went in there and three of them come running up and oh this little tortoise shell she was all over me he said, you got a friend there for life? And it's like, yeah, she's making it really hard because I was set on him. And um, and there was a couple of tabbies there and I wasn't too – I said, I feel awful. I can't actually recognise him um, because he's light in front and he's got a little bit of white around his chin and his mouth, but the back of him was dark. But in the photo on their website was just the front of him which was light. So I said, I think that's him, but I'm not too sure. It could be that other one over there as well. And he was just chilling out um, on the cat stand that had like a half pipe. 
and he was eating that, and he was just chilling out. And I was playing with the other ones, and then he moved. Oops, I didn't do that hand. And he'd moved and went over, and um, anyway, and I was, he was checking out another one. He said, oh, he's just come in. He hasn't got a name yet. And while he was doing that, I looked at this one, and he was on the stand, and I went over to him, and he just went, meow. And then I put my finger up, and he sort of, you know, <laughs> around, around the scratchy posts. And I said, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I said, Wesley. <laughs> my heart is set on Wesley. So um, anyway, so that was it. And usually, like, you do the appointment, greet and meet, or meet and greet, I should say, and um, then you get approved. And, yeah, well, the guy was in there with me and went out and paid for him and was like, he's mine. Said you can pick him up Thursday from the vet when he's d and this was Tuesday morning, and then Wednesday morning, you know, like I knew I was getting him, so I got a few bit of food and everything, and his cat stand and a few couple of toys and things for him. I was all set up for him, and um, and then they rang up Wednesday morning and said, "We got it, managed to get him in today. You can pick him up from the vets this afternoon." Like woo. So that's the story of my little man, Wesley. <laughs> I'm so sorry for your loss. When we lost Murphy, I was on the computer the same night. Just couldn't bear to come home to an empty house. Your kitten is a blessing. Yes, I think I was meant to have him. Thank goodness. Um, what a great story, Heather. Warms my heart. <laughs> Still can't get another pet. It's been over a year, but I'm still grieving. It's really hard, Shelley, and I don't know. I was meant to have him, um, you know, like I've said a couple of times, probably even on stream, you know, some people might say it's a bit too soon, but what I say is he's a cat. He's not a dog, and I am actually a love cats more than dogs. I'm a cat person. Um, that's right, Joanna. He was meant to be for me. I have a rescue dog too. He's about seven years old now. He's about nine months old when I rescued him from a train station. Oh. <laughs> At the moment, I've got four rats running around my bed. <laughs> I remember waiting for good cat. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lily. Thanks, everyone. I have cats at the Chooks in a menagerie. <laughs> yeah, way to go. Um. It is hard, but you know, from losing, from losing her. Now this one is Peach nine two seven, light peach. Yeah, that one's peach. This one's light peach. Just going back over again. I've done a bit of shadow. And then I'm going to use, I think it's sand 140. It's getting a bit short, just lightly. I don't want it to be yellow. I just want it to be a light colour in the middle of her back. And on her arms as well. So, yeah, he got me through. And that uh, kind of makes him special as well. Um, he gave me something to concentrate on. And my heart was set on him right from the start, from the moment I saw him. And just that little face looks cheeky. I mean, I picked him up from the vet when he'd been to sex. I said, how did he go? And she said, good. She said, he's naughty. She said, you've got yourself a real character there. So I don't know what he did. I didn't. I didn't ask her. 
didn't get her to elaborate on that. But I knew just from the look on his face when I saw that photo, um, he looked cheeky. <clears throat> A bit more light peach on her breast there. And her hair's coming over the top as well. Now, it's all about layering. No, I don't want the neck to get white peach. I'll start doing a few features around her face. And it's small face. You don't have to spend as much time like you do on a big portrait. A bit darker under her hairline. The shadow. There's only a little bit of a neck showing. And just very lightly for the shadow areas. And then back to the light page again. Blend that in. Little bit over her nose, but leave that quite light. Just lightly going over. Now I've got nectar here. Give it a cheek. And I can do her lips too. Bit on her eyelids. Now she's got green wings, so her, let me see, it's a nice colour. I like the colour of this um, watercolour. Now this one's a gold faber. If Mitch, you're still here, whoops, this is my gold faber, faber Castell gold faber aqua. It's one, six, two. But there's no colour, just a number. Just a bit of green. This is a really pretty green. Just a bit on her eyes. Hey, old perfectionism showed up with anxiety, so I'm taking a break from my project. The picture looks great, Heather. How do you feel about colouring on tone paper? <laughs> with a couple of people about tone paper earlier. I can't say I have actually used tone paper before. Um, so it's new experience for me. I have got some tone paper there. So I'll have to give it a go. But I was saying that um, tone paper really makes light colours, like pastel -y colours, really pop. Um, and Jennifer was using toned paper today. And um, she was using light colours, like the light, the white around the mushrooms. Back to nectar for a second. Just highlight her chin a little bit. And then light. No, it's not. 
light peach just to blend that out. And if you feel you go a bit too dark with a colour, I mean, I've blended that out, but you can always get the white as well. And she doesn't need too much on her face. She's it's only little. Now for her hair, I'll use sand. I've got to keep an eye on the time. 10.09. We'll do a giveaway soon. And it's a $20 gift voucher from Matt and Dawn, anything in the Etsy store, $20. That That is awesome. Now, this one is, oh, this one's Sable. So this one's the sand, I think. 940, oh, that's the sand. What's that one? Beige. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's getting a bit short. I'd have to get my book out. And just make sure. So, yeah, I'll have to try the tan paper one day. Kitten rocked on my doorstep after escaping from an abandoned house next door. I ended up rescuing and rehoming the rest. And oh. What was that? Just a pencil. Don't know where he's gone. Now I call this book fluff because it's fluffy. <laughs> Oops. Prisma. Oh, 140 is eggshell. That's right. That's eggshell that I was using before, not sand. This one is sand. 940, where are you? Yep, 940 is sand. So when I was saying, <laughs> when I was saying sand before, it was actually eggshell. So sorry about that, guys. That's why I say the numbers, just in case. My pencils are starting to get a bit short. Actually, I better put that away because if little Mr. Man comes, he'll be onto those ribbons. Nothing safe when you've got got a kitten or a puppy in the house. <laughs> so this one is sand, which is nine four zero. I'm going to do a hair. I think that might be leaf there, actually. And she did have a strand up there, but I coloured blue in between because it was just a bit of extra hair sitting out there. And with... Um, the colorathon this month, it's February, so throughout the month, Belinda is creating a playlist. So, whether you do a live stream or a pre recording and upload, <coughs> excuse me, she's making the playlist so people will know what streams to watch and check out. And so I will continue to colour this one and Cheryl's picture after the colour-a-thon. I colour like this and then it str the stream ends and I'm getting into it and I want to keep going. <laughs> but um, I won't be, I won't, I'll wait till I'm on stream. And then at some stage or another, um, I will do like a lot of things, your list is a mile long, um, this I'll do an, a background like this so you guys can see 
Now, my light umber is getting that short. Oh, I might. Let me see. This is an Arteza Garnet Red 1072. Now, I take my time with hair, individual strands. I'm going over the black lines first. It's got a bit of hair under her chin there. And do her eyebrows. Now, I actually think that is the leaf of a lily that's on her head, so there's not much hair up above her face. And I'm just doing the outline around her face a little bit darker, and as I go, I won't get too much detail in it because it is small. But you can just do a bit of shadow in places. Sorry if I miss chat, guys, questions or anything. If I do get the chance to watch it back, which I have a couple of times in the past, like, oh, I'm so sorry I missed that. <laughs> it's like, oh, I didn't see that. So the lovely Belinda is streaming after me. All right, now I can grab the sand back out and just lightly go over. I need that bit of hair. Just checking to make sure the pencil's sharp. That's not white. I get the white, make sure it's sharp. It will be soon, Mitch, not far away. I haven't forgotten. Do you want to get going? <laughs> Have a giveaway and I'm out of here. <laughs> nah, I'm going to make you wait till the end. <laughs> no, nah, not, not far off. So now that hair is noticeable. That one strand there. Uh, $20 sounds awesome for the giveaway. Oh, uh, uh, very generous. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, Lulu. Mitch, we're here to watch stream, not to win something. 
<laughs> Don't get your panties in a bunch. This needs to be separate as much as the reverse. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I actually cringe. <laughs> when I see kids, you know, they pick pick a kitten up by the neck and it's like, oh, don't let them do that. Like, um, you know, and cats are funny. Like, they'll go back for more. <laughs> um, but oh, I can't watch. It's just, oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> don't let them do that. Um, spring green, 9.13. What's the time? 20 past 10. Few more minutes, not long to go. Seeing Mitch did that, I'm going to make you hang out a bit longer now. <laughs> Love learning how to colour a different artist. Yeah, everyone has their own um, techniques, and this is spring green. I'm doing the leaf around the lily. Base coat first. I mean, I was a kid once too, you know, you know, I used to sort of playing in a, in a, a child's mind playing, but um, my dad's dog, Towser, he was a bit of a bitza, a bit of this, bit of that, and um, sort of looked a black and white spaniel kind of dog, and um, you know, I used to like go up not hard but i you know being a kid and pull his tail a bit and you know mum and dad just turned around and said if he bites you it's your own bloody fault <laughs> you know like so you know kids will be kids but oh god I, yeah i cringe oh patches and paint we had two mini donkeys brothers they were interesting entertainment and too old to castrate the older of us Biting the younger, so we sold him. The younger was mounting goats. <laughs> uh, yes, now my little dog has to be really careful. He doesn't pull against his collar when he walks or he chokes. Be right back. Don't do anything without me. All right, Kimmy, let us know when you're back and then we'll do the giveaway. We injured one, so we had to go. We were fine for three years, even with coyotes. Then the dogs came. Um, I do use a harness, but it still happens once in a while. Is that glow from the crown? It's, it's, a, it's a lily on top of her head. I wonder if I darken it up a little bit. Does that make more a bit more sense? I'll leave it there. And see what happens. It's a lily pad on top of her head. And um, before I get, this is dark green 229 in the Pablo. I keep going for the Pablos today. And some beautiful colours. Um, Veronese green, which is 201 in the Pablo. Now, just under her hair, I need that. I did sharpen this and it broke. So um, I think this pencil might be a little bit vulnerable, but I need a really sharp point on it so I can do some shadow of her hair underneath this lily.
kind of turning into a bit of a redhead. Uh, Auburn. Oh, green and orb and green eyes, green eye shadow goes well. But I'm gonna have to build that up to her hair. Strand upon strand. So now I want to finish her hair. It's not finished yet. There's a bit to go, but I'll just put a bit more colour into it. A bit more shading. Oops. Don't want that one. Just going under her. Chin with this garnet red, just so you can see between her face and her hair. And then you can just smooth it out a bit with the sand. So I hope she's coming up okay. I am starting to get cross-eyed here, but I will press it. Oh, Benita, you're getting tired. You need to sleep. Okay, I haven't printed out picture yet. <laughs> Going on a heavy tangent. Has anyone watched a basset hound roast? The ears are hilarious. <laughs> they just about start flying like Dumbo. <laughs> I've watched Wiener, Wiener Dog races. Abby, my little guy has three vests and two small to fit into them. One is red for emotional support and two are blue. God, Abby. <laughs> Abby, I know the feeling you have tons. Oh, Kimmy, you're back. All right, I've been waiting. Giveaway time. $20 from Matt and Dawn Davidson's Etsy shop. So $20 of your choice. That is an awesome prize, you guys. So I will just get my iPad. We <laughs> can sleep in tomorrow. Heather is not, not spoiled at all. No. <laughs> Have, yay, <laughs> wife of the giveaway. <laughs> okay. Now, rules are the same as always. Please refrain, refrain from chatting while the giveaway is on. So just the numbers are there. It makes it a lot easier for us to check out the winner. One number only. Once you put that number in, please leave it there. If you see a number the same as yours, don't retract it. Just leave it there. The first one closest to without going over is the winner. So if you see someone else put the same number in as you, well, just leave it there. Um, please don't retract it and put another number in. Um, you're right, Joanna. All right, I'm here, but boss is showing me pics of the new office space and showing me how he set up my office for me. Oh, I couldn't. God, can't you set up your own office? <laughs> you can change it all around, I suppose, if you're not happy with it. <coughs> Very nice prize. Yes, it is, Amy. So um, they're the basic rules the same, and I think you've all pretty much probably heard it before, although we shouldn't presume that. Some could be new. So $20 giveaway and ready and go. 
one between one and a hundred. Please refrain from chatting during the giveaway. Just numbers, nothing else. Bonita, you are new, okay? One number, girl. No chatting. Just put your number in between one and a hundred. Closest to without going over is the winner. Good luck to all of you for this giveaway and for every other giveaway that you enter. If you can't win it, if you're not in it. So if you're just lurking, get in here and have a have a go. Good luck, everyone. Even if you won on another stream, it doesn't matter. You're entitled to have a win here. Teresa Fetch won for Cheryl Lafon's um, giveaway, which I kicked off the colorathon. So her picture has been chosen, and Cheryl knows. So that's all organized, all good, all systems go. Get in there, guys. 60 watching. Get those numbers in there. That's good to see. Get in there, guys. Yep. Have you put a number in? Yes, she did, Benita. All good on you. Yep. Awesome. All right. Slowing down a bit. 63 watching now. Come on, come in. Lovely images by Matt and Dawn. Absolutely. Oh, Teresa, there you go, sweetheart. Yep, get in there. You're, you, far as I'm concerned, if you're on a roll and you win more than once, so be it. It was meant to be. People, you know, I used to go and play bingo and get on a roll and you win week after week and people start looking at you funny. It's like, well, you know, <laughs> luck of the draw. That's the way it goes. <laughs> so get in here, guys. Oh, I thought of another funny story now and I can't remember what it was. Oh, I should have written it down. Oh, I should have written it down because I did. I thought, hello, Debbie. Thank you for coming in, having a go. Welcome on board. If you're lurking away, get in here. Go from 63 to 61. Any more takers? Hello, Nancy. That's the way. Get in here. Can't win it if you're not in it. Hello, Wendy. Barb's happy place, Delbert's daughter, anyone else that's been lurking that wants to come in and have a go, quite welcome. And hello to everyone that I haven't said hello to. Dawn. All right. I'll start counting down in a minute. Good on you guys. They're awesome images. They do they do some awesome artwork. All right, I'll start counting down. 10, 63 watching. Get in here if you want to come in and have a go at the giveaway. $20 gift voucher from the Etsy store from Dawn and Matt. Absolutely awesome prize. $20 of your choice. You can pick whatever you want from their Etsy store. I'll tell you what, how could you pass that up? Oh, gone to 59, 60. <laughs> All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Get in there, Michelle, that's the way. 4, 3, 2, 1, and any more takers? 
too late if I put in there, if I put stop in there and you're after stop, you are not eligible. So three, two, one, and stop. Okay, give everyone a good chance to get in here. 79. Okay, guys. Closest to without going over. 79. Let's have a look here. You're all welcome to have a look. Oh, Della, right on the spot, girl. Congratulations. Right on the dot. Yep, congratulations to you, Della. Here's my email. You email me with your choice, $20 worth. What an awesome prize. Absolutely terrific. Congratulations. And all the best to you guys. Best wishes for the other giveaways at the other streams. Good luck to you all. So I will let... Dawn and Matt, no. I'll write that down. Let's see if this is dry now. See, this is, it's ink, so it's dry now. But um, the colours you get out of it are really cool. Cal Colorist. Eka. <laughs> Della. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Awesome prize. All right. My email is in there for you to contact me. And I will let Matt and Dawn know that you're the winner. So Etsy store and pick whatever you like and just email me and let me know and I will forward that on to Dawn and Matt and they will send you your prize. Awesome. So I hope you got my email. It's in the description below, the links to the um, – to the schedule are in below, the artists, the Etsy shops. I hope all the links are working and everything. <coughs> Hi, Barbara. Um, FW Inc. and Holcroft Inc. for the background. And I will do another stream one day with this background. And if you do, just use a bristly brush, not a soft bristle brush, because if you use strips on it, um, I just dab. <laughs> so it took a while, but um, and a fine brush to get in right into the fine areas. But if you use a, a soft bristle bristle brush and you wipe, it'll just be streaky, um, being ink. So straight up ink, no water. Whereas with this, I just did it during the start of the stream. I spritzed it with some water and dropped ink on it. And depending on what paper you use, it just fans out and it looks awesome. But um, this paper is just cheap copy paper, so it didn't work so good. But on different types, this paper on the back of it, um, hang on, I can't help myself. Hey, little man, what you doing? <laughs> Bit of a spritz. Hopefully it works better. Oh, I have to wait for this to dry on this. See, look at that. So 
see it just spreads out depending on what paper you use and now I need this to dry And if you want, you can, well, if you do start tipping it, it will run. But um, when the colours mix, really pretty. <laughs> so it depends what paper you use. So this is cheap copy paper. And then this is on this other stuff that I've got, um, milk, paper mill. So it just depends. So you get different effects. And depending on how much water and everything else you use. And now I need this to dry. And it's ink with water and it just dabs up. So you can also get a light effect as well if you don't want it dark. Otherwise, you could just leave it for a few hours, let it dry the way it is. But um, being ink, it dries pretty good. So you can leave it, you know, very opaque or you can have it very light, pastel-y. This paper takes a little bit of water, not too much. All right. Not long to go, guys, about 15 minutes. And it doesn't bleed through. No, it doesn't bleed through. This is Indian ink. And this is actually alcohol ink. Yeah, this is FW is alcohol ink. Um, and no, it doesn't bleed through. Even on this one. Depends on how thick you put it as well. Um, see, that had a fair bit of water on it. And it's just cheap copy paper. Whereas this paper, um, this is two hundred and sixteen GSM, and it doesn't it doesn't bleed through. But on copy paper with all that water, of course it did. Oh, good on you, cat. <coughs> <coughs> the top's just about come off my pad there. I'm just giving this a minute because it um, the dampness on the other side. But it's dry up here. Now for the lily, what colour will I use? I can use some purple and some pink maybe. Don't want it too dark because of the background. Actually, I might use, they might do. You having fun there? Now this one is a Pablo again, purplish red. I think that's three five zero. Just make sure with the gold writing. Three five zero purplish red, and of course the cat's in the way. <laughs> It's a stiff, yeah, it's bristle, bristle, stiff bristle brush. Um, I love the Echo and Water inks for this. I like that a lot. Going to have to buy inks now. <laughs> that doesn't bleed through. It is a water base, should bleed. Um, yes, that shouldn't bleed. Yeah. Um, Okay, going to run and get hot cocoa before Belinda stream. No worries, Evelyn. Thank you for being here. Enjoy the rest of your colorathon. See you in a minute. Um, okay, Evelyn. See you soon. Um, plus, if you're stiffing it, oh, it might be dense enough. Even the alcohol-based ink might not bleed. Yeah, and it all depends on the on the paper as well. Um, love the <laughs> cat burglar is back. Yes, he's an attention hog. <laughs> All right, purplish red for the tops of the flowers. And then blending as I come out. 
see this is a long pencil as you're going to attack it now these are similar colors this is a mulberry in the prisma 995 just up near the top and i've got really long hair so um he likes to attack my hair I mean, I sit on the bed at night time, go into bed and get undressed if he's behind me. Oh, yeah. I've got a few scratches on my back. <laughs> yep, leave my hair alone. Get out. <laughs> now, I want one more colour. Maybe an orange. Pablo, fast orange. How fast can it go? Three double O. Is your claw caught on my top? Well, if you didn't attack the top, it wouldn't happen, would it? And just layering back up again. Someone's boofy head would get out of the way. <laughs> now, I'll get that colour, the white, just to blend it out a little bit and soften it up. I'm not going heavy, just very lightly. Otherwise, it'll wash it out and take the colour away. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> the cat Sebastian is going crazy at Wesley on screen. Oh, Wesley! <laughs> oh, I had Johari on the giraffe, the pregnant giraffe, um, a few nights ago, and he was sitting here, he's fascinated watching the laptop. So. <laughs> um, Debbie thinking he's around twelve weeks. I'm looking back. If you're asking about Wesley, no, he's a bit older than that. Um, he's about 15 weeks now, I think. 21st of October he was born. He was 14. Oh, hang on. I think he was 14 weeks and one day when I took him to the vet for his second booster. Ow, 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 ow. Here he comes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it'll be 15, 16 weeks now, I think. I'd have to work it out. All right. Orange. Fast orange. It's fast orange, so go fast. <laughs> Says fast orange. Should be red, fast red. Red goes faster. And purplish red. Um, uh, oh, yeah, see, I'm colouring, but I'm half concentrating on him because he's just attacking my hair and climbing up my back. Nice. And then the mulberry. And for those that were going to streams, just for the giveaway, please don't do that. Please hang around and enjoy the stream and pick up some tips and tricks on colouring or whatever. Um, it's nice to know that you're not just there for the giveaways. I just thought I'd say that. I mean, I had 63 people and I've got 55, 54 now. So, you know, um, show your support for the streamers and hang around. I do watch the Colorathon streams. I haven't been to bed. I actually kicked this off. Um, for those that don't know or got confused with what was going on, Victoria was supposed to stream, but she was a no-show. So um, 
I got on there and kicked it off. So everyone wasn't wondering what in the world was going on. Some might have got a bit lost and wondered what was happening. So that was the case. Um, she just didn't show. And I haven't been to bed. I've been up the whole time. So I've watched all the streams so far. And I don't go into chat. I just... I went into one chat and said hello, but I usually just work, so I get up and move around and fix up the stream after it's finished, like processing and add the date and a few other things. So, um, you know, behind the scenes with streamers, you know, they put they put work in to get this show happening, and Shelly and Belinda are just unbelievable the amount of work that they put in behind the scenes to get this going um, appreciation for them for what they do for us so for our enjoyment so thank you very much to both of them once again I had a bit of cream on that one just a bit of Prisma cream, just to be different. And I'd like to get the blue. That was the one I was using for touch-ups when I was doing the background, which is a poly Prussian blue. Um, goes really nice with these colour inks. You can't tell. I just want to sharpen up the edge of that flower as I go. And it is a perfect blue. The Prussian blue with these inks is just perfect. It goes really well. <laughs> Shelly does most of it. I'm her helper. <laughs> I'm here making dinner at the same time. Oh, yes, please, Michelle. I've been up all night and I'm hungry now. What are you having? Um, yeah, that's right, Abby. She's awesome. Heather to the rescue. <laughs> you are going to need a nap. I will eventually. Um, Belinda's on after me, which is in another eight minutes. Maybe giveaways should take place at the end of streams. <laughs> oh, that's why I, yes, Shelley, that's why I kind of um, just held off a bit. And then poor Mitch, you know, what's the giveaway? And it's like, no, I'm going to make you wait longer now. <laughs> and then Kibby took off. <laughs> For a few minutes. <laughs> How convenient. And um, thank you, Mona. I'm learning a lot on these streams. Oh, awesome, Bonita. That's good to hear. You'll pick up a lot. Um, Shelly and Belinda and all streamers truly appreciate you all. Yep. Thank you, everyone, for making all of this possible. We're happy to see people have fun. Yeah, I have to admit, I'm not off during Jennifer's stream. My tummy was full, so body decided, yeah, yeah, full tummy makes you sleep. This is speeding by. Thanks for streaming twice. You're welcome, Marilyn. Thank you for being here. Thank you, everyone, for being here and showing your support. For myself and all the other streamers, the artists did a wonderful job with their images once again. So I'm using, on the flowers, I'm using Fast Orange, which is 300 in the Pablo, Mulberry 995 in the Prisma, Purplish Red 350 in the Pablo, Tiny Bit of Cream 914 and the White just to fluff them out and blend them out a little bit without bleaching out the colour because um, the white will bring it back if you use it too much. So it's only really kind of an alternative to um, burnishing or using a colourless blender. So eight minutes to go. 
And while I remember watching Jennifer's stream, um, God love her. I think what she's done is she's gone and copy and pasted from an old colorathon, and her, and some of the streamers in there, um, Sammy, Vicky, Victoria didn't show. Um, Nick and Tina are in it. Um, they're not streaming in this colorathon, and. I think poor Jennifer's gone and copied and pasted it in, and her links are not working. <laughs> um, had a lot of trouble with the links, just testing them out and everything. Um, so I actually Kimmy and um Abby are mods for her as well as me. So it's like we're trying to sort that out, um, and get links that work in her chat because some of them were just not working. So I don't know if she wants to rectify that. Someone wants to let her know. Um, but those links are just not valid <laughs> if you were trying to get with them, through with them. Hopefully my links are working. Let's do a bit of cream for that one. Thank you, everyone, for your support today. Continue to show your support as much as you can at the streams. But um, we don't want anyone passing out through lack of sleep, shall we? Make sure you get some sleep in there, guys. If you really need to sleep, then sleep because your health is really more important. Sleep is important. So enjoy the rest of your colorathon. We've got four minutes to go. No worries, Kimmy. Love you. Dollface. See you in the streams. <laughs> Thank you, Joanna. Um, no worries, Barb. Bye, Steve. Heather, excellent streaming today. Thank you very much, Christine. Thank you for streaming, Heather. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Mona, Joanna, Abby. And thank you to my mods today for your links and your help with the giveaway and everything. Pam, thank you very much. Shelly, Kimmy, Benita, Rain, all the newcomers, new subscribers, Leslie, everyone that was here today. I can't name you all. It's impossible. Congratulations, Della. Thank you for streaming during this colorathon. February is my anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary. Thank you, Abby. Um, I like the colours in those bells. Very pretty. Thank you, Barbara. Hey, let me ask you guys, do you think Jennifer could be a real fairy? Just saying. <laughs> You'll have to ask her. Did you see her wings? Didn't you see her wings? <laughs> you could see the shadow of them in the background. Start watching streams last February. So much fun. Um, we'll hope you stick around and stay on board. And I'll do this background again one day on another stream, another picture. Go grab yourself something to eat, something to drink. Head on over to Belinda's stream. Um, thank you, Abby. Oh, she's put that's my Facebook. Description and everything is in the link below. There's the document, the spreadsheet, the schedule for you guys. Thank you, Heather. You were a great way to start the day and now is the ink background double great. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. All right, guys, head off, grab a drink. Yep, no worries. I'll do this background for sure. I had fun doing it, and now that I know it's pretty and turns out, I'll definitely do it again. It's quite smooth. Um, yep, over at Belinda's. Thank you very much, guys. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your colorathon. See you later. Look at those dragons' eyes they're peering at you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks very much. You can say bye to everyone in three seconds. You'll be saying hello again. <laughs> yeah, I will. I'll watch a bit of Belinda's and then I'll have to rest for a while, I think. See you later, guys.